Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We grew mushrooms recently for one of our homeschool projects and after watching them grow, we did a few projects with them and today I want to share with you how we made spore prints using these white button mushrooms. Once they were mature, we went ahead and we harvested a few of them. Now previously we made a recipe with the first batch, but with the second harvest we decided to make some spore prints. And these ones worked really well because they were nice and open. All right, so I've got two kinds of paper here, some white paper as well as some black paper. We're not sure what color the spores are going to be, and so we have both papers so that we can see how they're going to look. All right, so here's the mushroom, and we want to remove the cap, and so we're going to carefully remove the stem part of the mushroom and they should pop out pretty easily but I had a little bit of trouble with this one I'm trying to twist it but they should pop out pretty well without damaging any of the gills underneath the mushroom all right so once that's removed then you can set it down on a piece of paper and I'm going to do this one as well so that we can have it on the black piece of paper you can see that one came out a lot more easily and then we're also going to do one on these little slides for our microscope because I thought then we could look at the spores underneath our microscope. So I'm going to put that one down onto that slide. Okay, so I want to show you one more way to make a spore print if you want to keep the entire mushroom intact. I have some of my scrapbooking supplies here and this tool is going to help me punch a circle out of a piece of watercolor paper or you can use cardstock as well. You can see that that makes just the right circle for us to slip our mushroom into that slot. Now you want it on some kind of box or something where you can actually slip the mushroom through so that the cap of the mushroom is laying flat onto your paper. Okay, so once that's in place, now we're going to use our little water dropper in order to put a couple of water drops onto the top of the mushroom. And this is going to encourage those spores to release. I'm working alongside my eight-year-old daughter and my 12-year-old son. They are working through this project as part of a homeschool project. The last thing you wanna do is put a cup on top of it and that helps prevent the spores from getting scattered around if there's any kind of draft or airflow where you are making your spore prints. All right, so two days later, which happened to be a little bit too much time, we definitely have our spore prints. They are brown, they are thick, and they're kind of a little bit too thick for the purposes that we had intended this project for. And so I would say that you could probably remove your mushroom caps within a couple of hours if you already see the spores being released. But we left these for two days and you can see that they were quite thick. All right, so we're going to check out the spore prints from this other one here. And it looks pretty good, but again, it's super thick. And then I accidentally tipped this one over before we were able to remove it, and I completely ruined the spore prints. You can see that it got kind of just shoved to one side. So I was kind of bummed about that because it was kind of neat to see the brown against the black paper. All right, so now I'm going to pull this one off of the mushroom that was just kind of all together still and it kind of dried up in the course of two days so that was kind of surprising it's probably because there was a lot more air circulation beneath the mushroom and you can see that the spore prints weren't quite as dark now it's time to preserve the spore prints and i am using a fixative in order to keep those intact you can also use hairspray as well so we're going to set these aside and I want to show you a set of spore prints that we made by accident one day. We harvested our second batch of mushrooms and I wanted to dry them out and use them in some recipes. And so we laid them out on a paper towel to dry and we ended up with these spectacular spore prints. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna see some of the other projects we've done with our botany main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. You can also see how we grew these mushrooms. That video is on the screen for you as well as down in the description box below. And if you wanna see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.